What's going on guys? This video I'm going to show you guys how to convert an acoustic drum kit into an electronic drum kit. The reason why you want to do this, main reason, is volume control. I don't want my neighbors to know that I'm a horrible drummer and I don't want to disturb, you know, my parents, my wife, uh, my brother. And then I also have access to multiple drum kits. With my drum module, which I'm using is an older Roland, which is a TD3. And I have about 30 different drum kits. And I can also customize my drum kit too. It's kind of a cool plus. It's also MIDI capable. So I can actually hook it up to a laptop computer, a desktop, and run it straight into an editing program, which I'm going to show you later on in this video. I hook it up to GarageBand, which is a program that comes pre-installed with the MacBook. Really cool. And it'll always be tuned. You can also tweak the modules by panning each individual pieces left and right so you can achieve realistic dynamics. So that's kind of a cool thing. Let's see let's get started i'm taking this old beat up head and i'm going to cut the skin off of it and i'm going to clean the edges of the ring really nice and clean that way um, nothing cuts the screen when i sew it on and of course it's going to make it look better it always looks better when you do it my way now i'm using pet screen you can pick this up at the hardware store it's very heavy duty it'll last you a good long time now when you go and cut your material, you want to make sure you have enough material to fold over the ring and then have about a half inch worth of material to work with. Um, hot gluing the screen in place in several sections just to hold it in place. I'm using nylon thread. You don't want to use anything else but nylon because Nylon is about the strongest and most easiest to work with. It'll start looking something like this. And once you're done, then you can cut off all the access material. This conversion is reversible, but if you do it my way, you'll be drilling some holes. And you may not want to do this to like a really nice or an expensive set of drums. You're going to want to do this to something cheap. Maybe something you got laying around. Probably find one off of Craigslist for really cheap. I chose to go with this drum kit. Pretty much entry level. The skins were really poor quality. The cymbals sounded like crap. But that all changes once I'm done with this conversion. It's going to sound like 30 different drum kits. I'm going to be taking apart everything that I don't need. Um, including the bottom head. I'm using some angle iron or angle uh, yeah you know what I mean and you're gonna put it on there just like this I got an angle while well, I drilled out one of the holes large enough to put a RCA mono plug on there I'm using this RCA plug to hold it in place while I put the drywall anchor on there just, you know just to tighten it down and have it all centered out so when you're done it's gonna look something like this this is quarter inch ply board plywood cut in a circle which you know slightly smaller about a half inch maybe maybe an inch smaller yeah just like that and now here's your piezo i've already extended the wire and i'm taping my piezo on this galvanized sheet and i'm feeding the wire through to the bottom and i'm using well one inch foam and a yoga mat which i picked up at walmart for fairly cheap now it's time to put on the batter's head Very easy, very easy. So simple. So simple even my grandma can do. Uh, on the bottom I used an old batter head. Um, but it looks nice. It looks like a complete snare once it's done. And uh, there's your input. 